Hi, welcome to Karen from Telecrafts.co.uk. Thank you for joining me for Make It Thursday. Uh, this week, um, I'm going to show you a couple of cards I made from the Boho Medley uh, in the annual catalogue. It's a brilliant suite, this. You get um, 48 sheets of paper, um, and they're, they're really nice. <laughs> They're all in blues. It's seaside spray. Um, seaside spray. It's the new misty moonlight and um, night of navy. Um, you can use them on white or very vanilla. I've gone for very vanilla on my cards because I quite like the very vanilla. I have done a couple in white, but I'll show you them at another time. But beautiful papers. Um, you also get. A stamp set, you get dies with the medley, which you can see are in here. These are all my bits. You get dies, so they cut out the vases, uh, plus the flowers, the little flower, but then you get these extra leaves and sprigs that you can cut out, and some different vases you can cut out. Um, you also get, you can tell I've used it. Um, you get a lot of sentiment strips to go on your cards. You also get, these are already die cut out. Um, there's quite a few of these. You get flowers, there's large and small flowers. And you also get these embossed, very vanilla sheets. And you can see I've not got many left because I've been using them. Uh, you also get some flowers, some gold flowers. And that's the stamp set there. I tend to keep everything in my packet so it's there ready for when I grab it out to use it. But you also get this lovely thick ribbon. It's got a, like a frayed edge on it, which is really nice. Um, and if you stick with me, I'll show you a card I've made using this at the end. But it does do really nice little bows like that. And it also comes as a double pack. I can find the end, the end of the ribbon. I can't. <laughs> but you get this gold one as well. Um, this is a bit more stiffer. It's not as soft. soft. Uh, but that again, it folds nice balls. But you can layer them up, which I've done on one of my cards. You can layer them up together. And it's quite a nice effect. <clears throat> and I think that's all that you get with it. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the same. The extra thing I've used on this is the um, gold laser cut paper. Now that's in the catalogue. I'll just show you. Um, the Boho Medley is right at the beginning. And you can see here. And, and the thing about it is it is really good because, um, you like I say, you get the dies, stamps. The only thing that you don't have with it is the ink. So you only have to put the ink to it. Um, and you can also get a refill pack of the papers and the cutouts. Um, you don't get any more ribbon, but you do get the papers and the cutouts as a refill pack. So it's really good value and you can make loads of cards. Um, I'm just going to show you that laser cut paper because it's... I wasn't going to get it. It was another demo. A friend of mine was using it in... She was like, oh, you've got to get this. It's so nice. And thought I was umming and ahhing. Um, But this is it here. So you get all these sheets. Um, I'm just trying to have a look. You get three sheets of these and three sheets of those. Um, And they're absolutely gorgeous panels. Um, So I've got them. But I also kept this bit round the outside. And I've cut it up, as you can see. I've used it on this card as like a bit of edging, just to give it that little bit extra. So it's two that you can use together. I might end up doing a few more videos with this because, like I say, I really do like it. And there's so much you can do with it. Because um, even when you've finished using these, then you can do a stamp one. So let's get started. So as you can see, there's not much stamping on these. I've only stamped the thank you and these little bits on the side and that's it. So simple and easy to use. And the colours I'm using are, I'm going to grab them, Garden Green and Misty Moonlight. 
that's one of the new ink colours and this is the other colour in sweet and also like I said Night of Navy's in it but you don't have to stick to those colours you could do anything you like so we'll do this one first I'll just get me um, a die cut out I've uh, kept them all in here it just makes it easier for me and I've just separated them with the tissue paper so let's just get two that aren't bent so I want two of those for the edge of my card I'm just going to pop that in and I want this one again because I need quite a few thank you cards I will show you at the end the other ones that I've done with these that's the one there there we go <clears throat> so for this you need oh and because <laughs> I've used all these squares of uh, embossed very vanilla I've ended up embossing my own and I've used that's for the next card that one I've got three different sorts that's the one that I messed up I've got the old world old paper uh, embossing folder I've got the subtles embossing folder and I've got this one it came I think it came with the uh, ornate garden suite I'm not too sure what that's called but hang on one minute and I'll find out that's... yes it's called ornate floral and it came I got it that's why I don't know what it's called because it was in the suite that I ordered with the ornate garden suite but that's quite nice as well but I think for this one I might actually use the flower the ornate garden one I think that lays up nice when I'm looking at that I think it should be have I put my other one upside down no I didn't so when I was looking at it, it looking a bit weird right let's pop them out of the way and let's get my card base I hope you're all all right anyway we're into the summer holidays now so all this is an A4 sheet of paper that's cut in half and scored in half straightforward this one honestly right what I did first I got my silicone mat and I got my edging strips and I just want to see I don't want it too long so all I did was I just layered them on there got my snips oops I know I did the bit at the top a bit shorter and this one a bit longer and that's all I did snip them off oops and then I just got my Tomlow glue and very carefully just put a little bit of glue on the edging strip which hopefully I won't get it all over the same with this one oh, it's got a bit of blue fluff you get a bit of blue fluff off that ribbon let's move this one down and then just go over this one as well so you don't want a lot of glue so let's do it like that and concentration now right and then get my card and I actually got, if I can find a pair of tweezers, I did find it easier using some tweezers with these. So this is my bottom one and then I'm just going to put it on the very edge. Like that, just leave a little bit of the border round. And the same with this one. I find things like this very fiddly. <laughs> there we go. And sometimes let's just check it'll fit in there all right yes that'll go in nicely so that's a bit I probably could have put it a bit further up 
right there we go and i'm not too worried about if i get a bit of glue on because i got one of these amazing rubbers these amazing rubbers and when it's all dry i've got a bit of glue i rub that over it and it just brings it off straight away it's so good so Oh, do the same with this. I've got Tom Bowles running out. I did this the other day, I banged it, and ended up with glue all over my card. I think they're empty and they're not. End up with a big splodge coming out. Let's just set that up in there. Like that, and then for this, it's just going to go in the middle there. But because my I've got a strip that goes across, what I did with this one is I just put a bit of snail down because I know my sentiment's going to go there. Just turn my mat over. The good thing about this glue does not stick to it. Right. There we go, and then I just went around the edges and over a bit of the big flowers like that just to give it a bit of stick there we go that's all you need get it where I want it like that all right so I know my, my sentiment's got to go here and then I've got some little strips. <clears throat> In fact, I'll take a bit off this one. Let me trim her out. <coughs> now, don't all gasp in shock because I've not got my guard on. But I was doing some stuff and I couldn't see what I was doing. So we only want a bit. It's about that big. A bit across there. It's slightly bigger, but that's all right. All right, happy with that. Let's move that mat out of the way. So, what am I going to stick this down with? I was going to use. I'm going to use this to see if I can get it to work because it's totally different from Snail. But this is the new stamp and seal. So I have to move it around a bit. I think that's right. I've not got quite got the hang of this yet. Right, let's try it. Nope. We'll leave that for another time when I can explain it better. This one should be fine. Yeah, this is a seal plus, which is fine because it's, I need it to stick proper anyway. But this one, the trick is apparently to do it slowly and then just lift it up and it comes up really well. Right now, if you can remember, just have a look where I put my sticky, which is there. Bob that across on the map. Then I need two of these, which they're in here. Oh, they were in here. I end up doing this losing things. So I want one of those and one of the big ones. Where have they gone? See, I have stuff on my desk and then it goes AWOL. And I know I've got more because I've seen them. Right, I do want one of those, so we'll get one of those out while I'm in there. And I wanted a green one, really. Do you know, I'll try and be organised and then it doesn't go to plan. Right, hang on one minute. There we go, there's one there. That will do fine. And I need a thank you sticker. Go out as well get that while I'm in there. I'm not. 
I'm not doing too good with this one today, am I? <laughs> I think it's because it's been one of those days. Let's have a look. I need a little sentiment. No, we'll have to go with this one. I think I've pinched the triangle one for the next one. Right, so what I did with these, straightforward, just put a dimensional on the back. And then there they are. See, look at the mess on my desk already. And what dimensional on the back of this one? So we're going to have sentiment there. So we shall pop him up there like that. Mob this one over there. Pop that one on. Then we're just going to stamp thank you on here. They always need thank you cards. That's why I end up a lot of mine are, that I show are using the thank you. I do send a lot of thank you cards out to customers and things. It's totally one of those days, totally unorganised. thought I was organised, but obviously I'm not. And now I can't find it. Mm. Use my little block. This is a G block. And again, I'm going to do this in garden green, so it all matches in. Right, so let's get that in the middle. Can't see because my camera is in the way, but that looks fine. A couple of dimensionals on the back of this. And we shovel that on. There we go, and that's our first card. There's the original. Easy, straightforward to do. And I'm just going to show you how to put together this one. Right, so it's the same scenario. Actually, I'm going to stamp my thank you in here. So that's done and dusted, and then I only need it for the little leaves. So I'll pop that up there. Remember where I've put that because I'll forget. All right. So again, A4, cut in half, scored in half, and then just burnish it down. Right, we just need a vanilla layer. And we need the little doddy one. You wouldn't think I used to be in the brownies, you know, always be prepared and that. <laughs> right, all I did with this is I stamped it and then stamped off. And then came over here, stamped it, stamped off, stamped it, stamped off, stamped it. And then I just filled in with a couple more like that which you can do it any way you want. And I'm going to shut this up before I put my fingers in it. Then I had a strip of paper left over from when I'd done a full sheet. So that's just going to get layered on there. And I did have a piece of the original embossed. So that's going to go on there. Now I do want to trim this down a little bit because it's a little way too wide. 
I think. I need to have a measure of that one. Yes, I did it at two inches. So I'll just uh, line this up. But I'll keep that because it might come in for a scrappy one when I do one of those. I was going to try this other glue as soon as that one's just fallen off my desk. I don't want to do that way around. Yay. There's some in here. So we're cooking on gas now. <clears throat> Trick is to store them upside down and then it flows the right way down. Right, so the other card, I actually put this on the other way around so it was flatter. So I've got the other embossed side upwards now. I've got a little bit of uh, ink on that, but my thank you will cover that up. Well, hopefully it will. Oh, this will anyway. And then I just like, led it across the top like that. Got my snips, trimmed it off. Yeah. Then I got some ribbon. Just snip that off there. And I'm going to put a little bit of snail here because the flower will go over it. So I can just stick it on there, turn that over, snail there, bit of snail there, and that just keeps it in place. Right, same again with these dimensionals. I did sit that one flat on the original, but I might put a little dimensional on this one. Got some little diddy ones. Yeah. Pull them off. That one up there. That one just behind, then that will keep those down in place. Make a little ribbon. It's amazing I can do this on camera actually. Oh, look at that. These do tie really nice. I did use the time like bows round the card, but. I used to get in a mess and get it all over the place, so we're going for this one now. And the glue dot, get that off actually. The glue dots are great. Put it on there and it sticks, and then you can just pop it on like that. Sentiment, not lost it, that's good. And then I've got a bit of glue on the card. But not to worry, like I said, I've got a glue rubber. Can get that off afterwards. Right, that one there. Oops. And then I just decide to put it across there like that. And then for this one, I'm going to put it up on dimensionals. Since I'm using the last of me packet up, I always split them up and get bits off. Waste not, want not. And all that. Oops, didn't cut them. Snip them up like that. Get the most out of your packets. I'm actually going to just put a couple across there just to make sure that they're secure. They have been amazing to practice with me. Uh, take a pick tool, 
and pull these off of them but then I end up getting in a mess so it's just quicker for me to do it like this at the minute until I've had a bit more practice right there we go and then all do that just center it on there and push it down thank you very much I hope you like those that's the original and that's the one we've just made so that was the uh, two cars we've done today hope you've liked them and like I said I did say I have some more to show you so with this um, laser foil I've actually used one of each of the sheets so I've used the square one there and just done similar I've done a sorry you feeling blue which I quite like that that's with the bow love the bow and then I've done these ones with the thanks a bunch um thanks a bunch a bunch of birthday love to you and i've actually these labels that came with it i've got a hole in so i've put the ribbon through and tied a knot and that one i used the daisy punch to cut the flowers out and the the small blooms punch for this one and put the gems in the faceted gems the gold ones um i did actually get for this one for these for using the laser cut papers i did get some um inspiration from um a demo called and i apologize now to the lady but um i think she's called amy coenda on youtube and i noticed she'd done one with this um but she'd used the i think it was the forever fern set so i've taken some inspiration from her but i do really love these and like i say it goes such a long way um, you'll have to just keep looking in at my YouTube because I, I do plan to do a few more with these cards. So I hope you've enjoyed these today. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much for joining me and stay safe, everyone.